Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the final season and what is going to be happening afterwards. This article has caused some confusion online and there's been lots of questions, people believed it, but at the same time, a lot of people like me, like a lot of you guys know, this source isn't to be trusted. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this article comes from We Got This Covered, and if you guys know We Got This Covered and you've been following my channel for a long time over the last few years, we've gone over many times to do with what they report, because what they report isn't true, and they always report on Supergirl, The Flash, and the Arrowverse shows, because they know they're going to get clicks, they know that people are going to be intrigued by the big kind of breaking news headlines that they put out but then it turns out to be false and this is just pure speculation. Okay, so why am I bringing this up? So there was this article the other day called Melissa Benoist reportedly not interested in returning as Supergirl after final season. And this article is again, completely false. However, it got put around online by people who obviously haven't encountered We Got This Cover before or just forgot because it was a long time ago. But basically people found it and they were like, Yes, Melissa is going to be in all these new projects and she's not interested in coming back to Supergirl at any point, you know, in any of the shows. But this is all false. This is all made up. And yes, it may seem likely that Melissa after this is obviously going to continue getting jobs because that's what you do when you're an actor, when you work. You continue to work even when you end one role that has been huge in your life like Supergirl is to Melissa. So, that's obvious, right? And they're claiming they have inside knowledge on, oh yeah, Melissa doesn't want to come back as Supergirl, she wants to continue with these other roles. I mean, that's obvious. And that is just them bringing it up and trying to say, this is a fact. When obviously it's a fact, but you're not the ones with the sources here. Common sense is the source here. So, let's go through this article and read how stupid it actually is. Okay, so the CW's Arrowverse, or the CW-verse, if you're one of the three people who didn't object to the network, trying to foist a name change on the shared superhero universe. Such a long sentence, terrible writing. Anyway, let's continue. Once Arrow, due to a close, is in the midst of a huge creative overhaul that could shape the future of the sprawling mythology for a long time to come. Not only is the flagship series over, but co-creators Greg Palanti and Mark Guggenheim have jumped ship and headed over to HBO Max in favour of focusing all their energies on Green Lantern. That is actually false, because Greg Palanti runs all of the Arrowverse shows, and the CW and him literally just picked up a new show. They picked up Wonder Girl. So, that's completely false. Again, bad reporting, bad wording. They're saying that Greg Berlanti has completely jumped ship. Yes, Mark Guggenheim isn't involved at the CW anymore. He is working on HBO Max with the Green Lantern show, but Greg Berlanti has not jumped ship. Greg Berlanti is running the Green Lantern show as a producer, but he's also doing all of the Arrowverse shows that are still around and they picked up a new show literally the other day. So that's terribly false. Now let's move on to the next bit. They say Supergirl is also drawing to a close following the upcoming sixth and final season. While it was announced that Black Lightning will be wrapping up after its next run as well. We probably don't need to tell you that at this point that ratings for Supergirl, and they leave a double space in their writing there, terrible grammar, have been declining on an annual basis and Star Melissa Benoist has already dedicated years of her life to playing Cara Danvers after first being cast in January 2015. But there's been speculation making the rounds, recently hinting that the 32 year old would remain a part of the Arrowverse after the show gets taken off the airwaves and may return for annual crossover events. And so in this bit of the article, they literally link an article where they say, Melissa Benoist is set to return in future crossovers. So literally in every sentence, they're contradicting themselves and making themselves look stupid. And also they always point out in every article to do with Supergirl, is their ratings, and that was not why Supergirl is set to end. So again, terrible reporting, and it's very, very misleading. And yeah, so let's continue, scroll down to the end of this article. However, we've now heard from our sources, the same ones, 
And this is always what they say, they always quote two articles to try and say, oh, all these same sources are confirming all of this, and these same sources is no one. This is them making up sources. So the same ones who told us Ben Affleck would return as Batman in The Flash, and that an Arrow spin-off is in development. Both of which were correct, and they always have to say that, you know, their sources were correct, we got these scoops before. And so they continue by saying that once the series finale airs, Melissa Benoist has no intentions of ever suiting up again. According to our intel, the actress wants to distance herself from the Arrowverse to avoid being typecast and will look to forge ahead with a career outside of the confines of the CW. In fact, she's reportedly actively looking to secure roles in big budget movies and premium TV shows in order to take the next step beyond Supergirl and as such isn't interested in returning to the franchise again, which means that fans should make the most of the last batch of the episodes as they will likely be the last time Benoist is seen as the superhero. So let's break that last bit down. Absolutely stupid. This is them making up completely. They're making all of this up. Sorry for the rant, but any time we talk about We Got Discovered, it has to end up in a rant because number one, the sources is the exact same source in every single article or they claim that you know Mikey Sutton or something from like a random website you'd never heard of is claiming oh Melissa will return after the show ends and then they literally contradict themselves in this article while citing that very same article and so yeah basically their source is literally themselves they are speculating and they are putting out as fact they're claiming sources are telling them they're claiming they've got actual intel but they have no intel and so they say Benoist has no intentions of ever suiting up again you can't say that for certain and no one would know that apart from Melissa and I don't even think Melissa would know that she doesn't have any intentions probably to come back for a while that doesn't mean that you know two years down the line she can't be like oh I want to come back as Supergirl and at that point I'm gonna laugh at we got this cover and I think we all are because no way does she know or anyone in the whole world know if she's completely done as Supergirl. She might, you know, take a few years off and I think that's what we're all predicting. But we're not saying this is concrete and these guys are claiming they've got evidence to say, oh, our sources are saying Melissa's never going to come back as Supergirl. So that's false. And then they go on to say, oh, it's because she wants to be avoiding, you know, being typecast as a superhero or anything like that. And then they literally go on to say she wants to be in big budget movies. And it's funny because they're talking about big budget movies and most big budget movies are superhero films. So she would be typecast then, if that is what you're going off of. And she's not trying to escape the Supergirl thing. She literally had a child and, you know, they thought, you know, her contract is ending at the end of the season. Let's wrap up this season. It's nothing big, nothing to do with ratings nothing to do with being typecast. She has a child and deserves a break and I don't think she is actively searching to be in big budget films, big budget high-end television shows as of right now, maybe in the future, maybe in six months to a year's time. You know, towards the end of when she's finishing shooting Supergirl in August, she's still got a long time to shoot Supergirl's final season. And then maybe at that point she may look for some more projects but for now, once she's finished shooting Supergirl, I'm pretty sure she's gonna go on a break. Kind of like what Chris did, he literally took an acting break for like a year and a bit and he wasn't in much, he directed something. I think Melissa will do something like that, they will just, you know, look after their child, enjoy this kind of new life that they have, and then maybe look towards the future for some new projects. So, again, they are just going off of pure speculation here, and they're going off of very obvious stuff that people have been suggesting. Yes, Melissa is obviously going to act again in the future, obviously she's going to look for some projects, but she's not going to do it right now and don't claim that you know that she's going to do that because she's probably told no one, right? It's up to her, it's inside her own head. And so yeah, that is about it for this video. Again, this was a big rant, I'm sorry about it, but you know, it's got to be said and it's annoying when people talk about these articles that they post, we got this covered, online because it's just completely false and it's all made up and I can't believe people still see it as fact but I guess those people you know have never seen them before or forgot about you know their reputation but yeah 
So thank you guys for watching this kind of rant video and for now please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos and help support out the channel by clicking the join button as well if you can. So anyway guys I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.